Hello everybody, Sam from Toolhut here. Today we're going over the first uses of the Handtech 1008C 8 channel automotive scope. We're going over the software. We're not going to be hooked up to a car. As a matter of fact, we're not even going to have a scope plugged into the computer. So you can download this software. I'll try to put a link down in the description where you can get the software and it works with a variety of uh, scopes but we are using the official Handtech software okay so once you've downloaded and installed the software which doesn't take very long you have an icon that looks something like this. It's the Handtech 1008 software. We're going to double click on this. And since we're not hooked up to a scope, it's going to ask us if we want to run the scope in demo mode. We are going to choose yes for uh, today's activity. Okay, so once you open up the software, you'll notice that you have three options. You've got vehicle diagnosis, oscilloscopes and the signal generator and it's my understanding that the signal generator uses the two pins on the outside of the scope uh, we're not going to go through that today uh, we'll probably go through that in the future so if we go into vehicle diagnosis you'll notice that we have some generic setups for some different sensors you can kind of scroll through here and see uh, what you're looking for understand the only thing this does is it sets up your scope what it thinks you want to see on the on the screen um, these are good for starting out a lot of guys use these for years and years uh, personally I'm not a big fan of them um, as you'll probably see in the series of uh, me showing you how to use the scopes and different things that I do so but they are here there's really nothing wrong with them uh, I just like to manipulate them uh, to do what I want to do so so what we're going to concentrate on is today is the oscilloscope so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the oscilloscope and since we're in demo mode it has turned on all eight channels this is kind of what it defaults to so the, my suggestion is the first thing you do is you figure out how do you want your scope to turn on every time you use it so I've got the settings the way I want them so let's go over a couple of things here real quick so over here where it says zoom vertically is our channels so I can click on the channels here and I can turn them off just by clicking them like this and now I have one channel up this is my preference it may not be your preference this yellow line here that's your zero line so I'm gonna drag it to the center of the screen again my preference my suggestion is that you figure out how you want the scope to work I like starting with one channel so and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the the time base now I know it's gonna sound crazy but I like 500 milliseconds on my screen you can always zoom in on a screen so don't ever be afraid to put too much information on a screen we'll go over it more later uh, but right now understand your zoom horizontally is your time base so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this setup however you decide to do it my suggestion if you're not familiar with scopes is to pick one channel so we're gonna save this setup right here it'll take you to so you can see I've already set it I, I named my setup 500 millisecond one channel 5 volt so I did not change the, the voltage to 5 volts so that's how I like mine set up like that so once you've saved it when you turn on the scope you get to go to load setup and then you choose your 
500 milliseconds. So this is how I want my scope to start every time I go to use it. It is acquiring. I know it's kind of, it's to me it's backwards. The play button is lit up. Uh, I guess it's just going to take some getting used to. So the other thing I want to do is I want to go to view and I want to turn the toolbar on. Again, this is a personal preference. Uh, everything in this more button here is also up here. And to me, it's easier to use the toolbar. So here's our horizontal setup, vertical setup, which is the same thing as our horizontal and our vertical setup here. Our T is our trigger setup. Here's our T. This is a manual operation, so um, we can change the the horizontal on the trigger and the vertical on the trigger right here so and this changes it from lines to dots not real practical for what we do the auto setup is it's going to look for a signal once you've acquired a signal it'll try to set up the voltage and time base and then you can manipulate it from there the play button is it's collecting data here's our pause and the rest of these buttons don't work while the scope is running so we have to hit pause and then we can hit the the zoom in and you can see that my time base changes when I hit the zoom in so it's essentially the same thing so I'm going to hit the minus button and go back out this will let you scroll through this the memory buffer the memory buffer is only four 4,000 samples, or I think it's 4 million samples actually, uh, but it's a 4,000 buffer. And it shows you right here, it's at the middle of the buffer, and you can move it in any increments that you want. So let's just change it to 500. We'll go back five, 500. And something I thought was interesting is that the memory buffer starts at the middle of the screen really not a, a big deal just so you know that that's what it does so let's zoom in here and you can see our pattern uh, we can do anything we want with it so it's kind of the the gist to getting started with the Hantech scope, we are going to be hooked up to a vehicle for our next session. So uh, if you want to uh, stay in, stay tuned or get your scope, get used to pushing buttons around in here, uh, the camera, that's a screenshot of your information. There's a, uh, takes it to their manual and then you can return to, to this screen here your last screen I guess so like I said next session that I do we will be hooked up to a car and we'll be gathering some some patterns ourselves so stay tuned uh, thanks for watching today subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos like this thumbs ups thumbs downs questions comments I try to respond to questions and comments as long as they're not too far off base. Uh, thanks and have a great day.